So, you want to know how to do a lab write-up in Honors Chem, do you? Well, you've come to the right place. That's what we're going to talk about. First of all, you need to get your lab notebook out. Open it to a clean page and put the title on Separation of a Mixture. After you've done that, you're going to write your beginning question. Can you successfully separate silver chloride from a mixture? And then a second question, what is the percent composition of the silver chloride in the mixture. Quick commercial break. Pause it. Come in. Hi, hi mom's kids. That's my daughter. Hi. Just came home from band practice. And my legs hurt. All right. Bye, Lori. I'm going to take a shower. All right. Bye, Lori. I don't know where the dog is. All right. So back to our lab. You've got your beginning question written. You've got the secondary question written. Your background information, there are going to have five different or one four different substances in the uh, mixture silver chloride which is insoluble in hot and cold water benzoic acid which is soluble in hot water but not cold water sodium chloride which is soluble in hot and cold water copper metal powder is insoluble in hot and cold water maybe you're wondering what does insoluble mean what does soluble mean soluble means it will dissolve Insoluble means it will not dissolve. All right, so you've got your question, you've got your background. Now we're ready to start our procedure. For our procedure, first thing you're going to do in your notebook, write procedure. Now our procedures are going to be, <laughs> excuse me. All right, well, this is what view I have now, just so you know. Hey, you baby. <laughs> There's the poppy. Teddy, Teddy, say hi to everyone. Hi. All right. Teddy was eating. going through Lori's trash. I it's, found him. You did find him. All right. Thank you for bringing Teddy and introducing him to my class. We'll go outside. All right, go outside and go do whatever you need to do, Teddy. So, you've got it titled Procedures. Step one, what we're going to do as we write these in your notebook is you're going to draw the steps out. Okay, you'll have a copy of the lab in the la on the lab um, itself, so you'll be able to refer back. But I want you to kind of start to get a visual picture, and you're going to draw each step out. Doesn't matter if you're a good drawer or not, that's not the point. The point is to begin to visualize. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a 250 milliliter beaker. So draw yourself a beaker, and you need to make sure it's clean and dry. Okay? You're going to put that beaker onto a balance and mass it out. And record your mass. Now, you're going to step two, you're going to get, a mi get the uh, mixture from the front lab station, and you're going to pour the mixture, it's in a little white boat, and you're, you're going to pour it into your beaker. So here's your little boat with your mixture. See, I told you it doesn't have to be good drawing. And it's going to go in there. Okay? Then you're going to mass it again. So here's our balance. It has a round. I started to write mass, and then I said balance, so I started to write balance. All right. Next step, you're going to go over to the fume hood, which is over on the side of the room where the big KU flag is. Here's our fume hood. You saw the uh, Crash Course Chemistry uh, video, and he used a fume hood in that. He talked about that. You're going to take your beaker over there, and you're going to add 15 milliliters of nitric acid to that beaker. Okay, so here's your beaker. Here 
here's your mixture and you're going to add 15 milliliters of HNO3 which is nitric acid okay as this is added you're gonna get a lovely brown gas produced and why will it not work? Come on. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Well, I'm not getting a brown gas, but there you go. There's your gas. Okay. While that is in the fume hood, the next step is going to be go over and set up the heating setup. Okay. For that, you're going to need a ring stand and a ring, and the ring will stick out. And then on top of that ring, you're going to put the wire gauze. Underneath that, you will put the Bunsen burner. I do not quite understand why I'm having trouble with my colors tonight. There we go. There's a nice little flame. The Bunsen burner will go under, set under that. So once you've got that set up, come back and check on your nitric acid. Swirl it around. So you're going to want to see if any more gas is produced. Once we're certain no gas is being produced, you will take it back to your lab station. Step five, you're going to add about 100 milliliters of distilled water. Okay, so here is your beaker, and you've got a little bit of liquid in there with your solid, and you're going to add 100 milliliters of distilled water, and you're going to use one of your wash bottles. And it's approximately 100. It doesn't have to be exact. Add what you can, or add up to about the 100 line. If it's 120, that's okay. If it's a 95, that's okay. Don't panic. Okay, so now we're ready for step six. We're going to put our beaker onto our um, heating setup. So now I really am going to just copy that. Paste. So here's our heat set up for step six. All right, come on. And we'll put our beaker on there and let it start heating. Okay, this is going to be hot, so you're going to want to wear hot mitts. Now, while that's going on, you're going to get a piece of filter paper. And you're going to write your name on it in pencil. Write it at the edge. Okay? Then you're going to find the mass of that filter paper and you're going to report it. Now the next step is to assemble a, a uh, filtering system. So you've got your lovely let's do this. You've got your lovely oh let's flip it. Can we do that? We're going to add our filtering apparatus onto the back of, I don't know why that's orange, that's the color I was trying to get earlier. It's fun with Mrs. Bush, always exciting. This is step seven. For your filtering apparatus, you're going to have a smaller ring, and into that ring you're going to put a funnel. 
and under that funnel you're going to put a 400 milliliter beaker to catch your waste. Flat, the last thing we're going to do, you're going to take your filter paper, you're going to fold it in half and fold it in half again so you end up, end up with a little cone shape, kind of like you can make it into a drinking cup. If you... Last thing we're going to do is we're going to take the filter paper and we're going to move it up so that it's sitting on top of our funnel to pour our hot liquid through. All right, we're going to stop this now and we'll pick up because this is getting long and I can't go much longer. So I will, we'll have, this is part, end of part one and then we'll have part two.